lovelies i am back with another planner unboxing um as i got this one from hello day at an exciting 10th birthday party from the color bar and i've never seen hello day before so i thought i would do an unboxing um because they are a uk like planner company and i've never heard too much about them until i followed them before i followed them because of the event at the colour bar I'd never actually heard of them before and when I looked on YouTube there isn't actually that many unboxing videos for their planners and particularly there's not that many videos of like after unboxings or like how people use them and things so I am actually going to be using this alongside my Erin Condren and um, mainly because when I have my Erin Condren I also have like a to-do list type of book um, and somewhere that I can track like food and things and I like this one because it can kind of be, it's almost like a to-do list planner and I can pre-plan in this one because with my Erin Condren I always have a to-do list book and then a like pre-planner planner and um, so it's often a planner I can take around with me or like a weekly planner. It's often, I do, I do occasionally use a like week planner um, on like a big, it's like a week on a big sheet and it's undated but I prefer to have just a cheap little dated planner that I can pre-plan in um, because otherwise, <laughs> like today, I realised I had said yes to two events at the exact same time on Wednesday. So if I don't pre-plan, I'm useless. So let's get into it. So this is the box for the 2018 Hello Day calendar. I believe this is the academic one um, that started in August. So this is the box and it's like, it's a white and like a very pale grey, almost watercolour design, like um, a brush mark design. And then on the front, it's just got Hello Day in gold with the gold leaf that is their like signature. And when I take it off, it's just got a little slip about the planner and about following them on Instagram and basically like saying hi and tagging them in pictures and then there's also a little piece of card that tells you how to basically use your hello hello day planner um and the website and the URL and things and then a way that you can little competition you can win and then they also I'm not really sure what the point of this one is but it's just a little hello day book that says greeting our days with a fresh perspective and then inside it's just kind of got their hashtags and um, where you can follow them and then just like a thank you note inside now this is the planner how gorgeous is this marble planner and it's even got the little gold bookends or page ends whatever you call them and it's a fairly hefty planner and for some reason i'm not sure if it was meant to come with it but I have another front cover, um, so I don't know if that was meant to be there or that was an accident. So it is a fairly hefty planner. It's an A, I'd say A5, no A6 maybe. I'm awful with guessing page sizes. I think it's an A6 planner and it just has a massive, I don't know, can you see that? A really big um, spiral. The spiral is actually a little bit bent on this one, I've just realised a little bit flat on one edge here all the way down so I think it's just got a little bit bent in transit um but it is a fairly thick planner itself as well because it is a daily planner as it says on the front um so it's also really good quality like covers so I'm not worried about them getting wrecked and this is going to be one that I'm going to carry on the go with me and um, so I can kind of pre-plan and do my to-do lists and everything in um so inside there is like a gorgeous coral colour with a little pocket and then you just have the Hello Day Daily Planner and it is August, August to July next year. Um, so I will, I'm basically going to start using it after this video and I guess, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see what happens in July. And then there's basically a space for you to write your name. 
and then inside it just has a little bit more about the planner and how you get started and um, so they suggest you grab a coffee and start putting in birthdays and little 10 minute accomplishments which we'll go into in a little bit more and there's like another page shortly after then there's a monthly section and what you do with that section and then the weekly section and then your daily as well because it's broken down into month week and day so that you can really get the most out of your time and like really like smash your week then you have a list of all the 2018 2019 holidays and then you've also got a 2018 calendar at a glance um, I'm not really sure why it's got 2018. Maybe that's meant to be 2019. I don't know. But it says 2018 at a glance at the top. And then because obviously this is a academic planner because it starts in August, it has an academic yearly spread, which is fab because you could actually use this to kind of jot down. Like I know when I was in um, uni, we used to get like a big... Um, what did we used to call it? It was basically a list of all like the assignment dates, like exam assignment hand in dates, um, exam dates, like when we'd be like in placement, when we'd be in uni, when we'd be on holiday. And this is perfect for jotting it down because you can kind of put in like August, I don't know, August 30th, start school, blah de blah de blah, like January 1st, exam time. I don't know. Um, but that's really good for that. And then you also get a weekly schedule. But the 10 minute accomplishments page is every day. Um, they're basically promoting you to spend five or ten minutes on a task that you can accomplish in five to ten minutes, whether it be sorting through papers, cleaning the fridge, um, calling your mum, like getting rid of all the photos that build up on your phone, um, like organising your desktop, your drunk jaw, your emails whatever it's something that you always say you're going to do tomorrow and you never do um, and you always put off they're encouraging you to spend five or ten minutes doing a little task every day instead of saying oh i'll get to it tomorrow and then it makes it easier um and it even says here you can split bigger tasks into two or three days so a task that might take you half an hour you can do it in three days or two days and do ten minutes um, so it really helps you to promote accomplishment, especially if you are quite big on, um, like, I really get motivated by it. This is why I do to-do lists, because if I don't do a to-do list, I don't get much done with my day. And particularly if I do a to-do list, I feel really accomplished at the end of the day when I go down. Like, if I sit down and watch a film or sit down and do, like, a relaxing bath or something... And it really makes me feel like I've done a good job today. Especially when you work from home. It's like, I've done a good job today. I can reward myself. Then you get on to the yearly goals section. So this one. So your yearly goals is spread over two days. And similar to the Dear Diary that I had last year. There is four sections. And you can kind of pick your different sections that you want to work on whether that be work school health fitness like your blog youtube whatever you want you can put them in here and then for each goal there is a milestone section so between you get each goal split into august to october november to january february to april and may to july um, and you can do that for each one at the beginning of every month you have this kind of like I'm going to call it the dashboard section and basically on one page you have like a note section which is really really good for me because I'm always scribbling our notes in another notebook so I'm always carrying around two books at a time a diary and a notebook whereas this I have the notes built in so I can kind of you've got a blank space if you wanted to scribble anything down or draw a sketch or whatever and then you've also got a line section so you can do like a list or write a bunch of things or scribble down an appointment or whatever you need to and then on the other side of the month you have your August goal planning or your month's goal planning and basically you have a box of four things um, which says goals, budget, food and exercise, less of or more of, which I think is a really nice section because you can your goal is like the first one there so you can really focus on it. And then it breaks it up into each week of the month and the tasks per week. So this is like your big tasks. So say you've got, 
I don't know, your dissertation due at the end of September, you can write like your big tasks or you've got a big presentation at work or you've got a particular appointment. This section here will be very good for me to remember for events and like collaborations if they need to, if I need to go something, if I need to go to something on a certain day or I need to be, have like a blog post or a video or an Instagram picture or whatever up on a certain day, then this is going to be very helpful for that. And then at the very bottom, which I like that it's small and it's not massive because this section is all about your end of the month reflection. So what your successes were from the last month and what you've learned. Um, and I love the Dear Diary because it had a lot of reflection in it, but it had an entire page of like reflecting on the month. Or the, it had an entire page, I think, for reflecting on the month and then one for reflecting on the week. And I just never filled it in because um, it just... It seemed a lot of the same stuff I was saying and I just got a little bit bored with it. So this being a tiny little section I really liked. And then on when you flip over the little tab, you basically have your month at a glance. And I like the little hello inscriptive and then the change of text. So you get your full, it's like a nice sized like month at a glance. The only thing I feel like I'm going to have a problem with is I'm right handed. So I feel like I'm going to struggle with this in the way. But we'll see how we go. And I really like using this because I plan out my shifts, I plan out events that I'm going to, I also plan out blog post ideas straight onto it, um, so I really like this for that. Then at the beginning of every week you get a this week's tasks section, so you can kind of pre-plan before you plan if that makes sense. So for someone who was just using this as their planner, you could put in all like your events, any work shifts, anything you've got going on, you can put it there and then when you come to plan the week, you can put it straight in. So I really like that. And for me, I'm gonna kind of use this as well to help me pre-plan blog posts and video ideas. Then you also have a lovely sheet that just says stand tall, think big, and you can actually cut these out. There's a little line so you can cut it out and like stick it up. Um, I'm going to leave it in because it, it looks nice in the planner and it's nice and inspiring. And then, so this is what the daily pages look like. So you've got hello and then the date. And then at the very top you've got I admire and a space to put in whatever you want. Um, so you could put in I admire my mum, I admire my best friend, whatever. Um, and then you've got a water tracker, an exercise, a pray and meditate tracker and then a this week's task. So whether you got your task for this week done. And then it says obstacles are those frightful things you see when you take your eyes off the goal. And there's lovely inspirational quotes kind of dotted about everywhere in the planner. And then you've got a section for your top three to do's as well as any birthdays and what your 10 minute accomplishment is for the day. So you could, when you're planning in your planner, you could go through every day and decide, okay, right, I've only got this on, this on, this on. I want to set this as my top 10. Um, I want to set this as my 10 minute accomplishment. And then I think what I'm going to try and do is put something there that it's something I do first thing in the morning. So like as soon as I get up and I've had breakfast and I'm getting ready for the day, that's my top 10 accomplishment. Unless like I'm planning for a day when I'm in work or on a night shift or something. Um, then it'll be a little bit different. So you've got an entire section here for either to-dos or notes, which is really nice. And then your day is broken up into three sections. So you've got your morning, your afternoon, and your evening, which I think is really nice because not only can you have a running to-do list, but you can have space for appointments or anything you specifically want to get done. So it's just like that all the way through. And then your weekends are on two pages. I think for most of them, yeah, I think every weekend is on one like one full page because normally people don't do too much of a weekend, so you don't need like the massive full day spread. Um, and I've just noticed as well, so at the top it doesn't just say I admire, so it's got I admire, um, I am grateful for this week's win, um, I rock at, I'm focused on, so it's a nice little thing, so it's always changing it up. Um, so the weekend one is just basically a shortened version. So you've still got your water tracker, your exercise tracker, your praying and meditating, which I think I don't pray and I don't meditate. Uh, 
because I can't get out of my head enough to meditate. So I'm going to change that to reading because I want to try and read a little bit every day to kind of distance myself from technology. So that's what I'm going to use that for and then this week's task. And then you just still have the top to do's, birthdays and accomplishments. But instead of having the um, to do slash note section and the today planner, you just have a big section so you can just write like your to do's for the weekend. And then again, you've got your weekly planner and then it carries on. And there are some months where, let me see if I can find it. There are some months where there's still a page before the end of the month because the goal planning and notes is always on a two page together. So what they've actually done is where there's not a day to put here, they've actually put like a lovely quote in or a lovely like scriptive writing um, to make it really nice. So there's like, this is a quote from Erin Henderson. This is a quote from Erin Hansen. There's like one that says, relax, breathe, believe. So it is a really lovely planner and I love that you can really like, I'm gonna really pre-plan and be quite basic. So I'm just gonna use my basic color coding which is a colour for work, a colour for blogging, a colour for events or like appointments and then that's it. So I have blue for blogging, I have orange for work and I have pink for appointments and then just the basic black pen. And then when you get to the end of July, if I can get to it. So at the end of July you have a mini end of month month reflection you also have a section for future dates to remember and then your 2019 calendar at a glance which kind of annoys me that it, the planner goes to july of 2019 and the 2019 glance like year at a glance is at the very back but oh well and then you have plain note paper all the way you have a couple of sheets of plain note paper which is really handy because I use these um, particularly for planning like gift ideas and things because I will see things say if I'm on the go or I'm out and about I will write them down on here so that I can remember them for when it comes to present time or like birthdays or Christmas and then again you've got the same as the front cover with a little pocket so you can add whatever you want. That is my unboxing for the 2018 to 2019 academic daily planner from Hello Day. I cannot wait to start using this. I am still going to use my Erin Condren as I said alongside this and it's more going to be a pre-planner and my to-do list and my kind of like block planner in one um because then i don't have to carry like normally i'd carry a planner about this size to pre-plan in and a notebook because otherwise like if i'm out or i'm at a meeting or something or i've got 20 minutes between events or something and i get an email or someone invites me to something i am always like uh let me check and let you know and it's the most annoying thing Whereas when I pre-plan and have a notebook with, like a notebook and a planner with me, particularly when, so when I pre-plan and I have a planner with me, because this year I haven't had a planner as much because my other one's like littler, so I don't tend to take it with me, but then I don't have something else that I can pre-plan in. So I have noticed that I've forgotten about events until like, I've gone onto my emails and gone, right, I've got this this week, I've got this this week, I've got this this week. So it does take a little bit of getting used to, but it's the way of planning that works for me. So hey ho. But I will leave all the information about these planners in the description box as well as their Instagram page because they have some of the nicest pictures I've ever seen. They are so good with photo taking and just the Instagram feed as a whole. And they don't also do, they don't only do planners so they've got notebooks they've got accessories they're a bit like Erin Condren where they do accessories for the planner and um, but then they also do like notebooks and things and um you can also get this planner with different colors so this is the marble one and I think they also have like a leaf one that's like that leaf that's at the bottom there and um, they also have that as well um, so I cannot wait to start using this I will do a bit of an update maybe in January because I'm going to start using this Pretty much now, as soon as I've edited this video and made sure it's okay, um, I'm going to start using it pretty much straight away. So I think what I might do is around December, the end of December, because that gives me a good two months of use, I might film another video of how I've used this, if you want it of course, 
Um, but I thought it'd be quite interesting because there's not actually any video of the Hello Day planner actually like being used and how I use it and how I've gotten along with it. And um, there's just mainly unboxing videos. So I think I'll do that in about December if you want. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.